I think uh, after viewing the series, um, Canadians will probably be surprised to know that we're just uh, we're just average people. We're just people too. We have a job to do, and we have a very public job, so we're under public scrutiny all the time. But we are, you know, human beings who have families, who have responsibilities outside of work. Uh, I think they'll see a level of dedication that they probably didn't realize was there. And I think they'll just see the scope of the organization too. The fact that we do not only police domestically, but we do police internationally. We do have support across the country. So, uh, you know, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of things to learn about the RCMP that maybe the average citizen didn't know. I also had the opportunity to go to a community called Baker Lake and uh, that was a bit of an eye-opening experience too. They had just had a blizzard a couple of days before we arrived and they had no power for a couple of days. The furnace blew up so there was black soot everywhere in the detachment. They had no plumbing, their computers were fried, they had no police radio for about a day, 24-hour period as well. Um, and not only were those members um, serving the community and doing their regular police work, but they were actually hauling water from a neighboring building so they could try to clean the detachment because they didn't have the support of calling a cleaning service to come in and, and do that for them. My hopes for this series would be that uh, it gives the RCMP an opportunity to tell its story, um, kind of through our eyes for a change. You know, we, we have a lot of uh, sometimes negative media out there and uh, quite often I, I find that the public focuses on the media, the negative stories that they, they are hearing and uh, they don't get an opportunity to truly know the scope of our duties and I think this series will give us an opportunity to tell those stories, to tell the success stories, um, to let people know that we're just average Canadians who have a job to do and, and we're out there to serve them and uh, to make the community safer. It was a really great experience working with the four directors uh, from Gen Corps on this series. Uh, I found that they each had a, a very unique way of, of doing their job. They were all very much individuals and, and had a different way of approaching things, but um, they all had something, you know, a lot to offer to the, the series. We met initially and talked about topics of uh, episodes that we wanted to do. I put them in touch with uh, people out in the detachments uh, that I thought uh, would help them best tell that story. And um, through their research, they, I found they did a great job of really nailing down the, kind of the meat and potatoes of what we do, of what the, what the, units, uh, what the units do, um, different training that we have out there, what it offers to the organization and to the public uh, that we serve. And uh, I think the end product uh, was uh, a great showcase of uh, those talents that are out there.